What's up guys, Chance here, welcome back to NBA 2K21. We're in college of University of Florida. Let's get this going. Let's see what we have. So. Boom! Okay, you know, that boom feels like a little much. You win every time. The dominant force. <laughs> well, then maybe winning should feel like less of an every event. Every time just... feels like the first time. Boom! Yo! Y'all up for some doubles? Hey, yo, Lula, no, I'm not good at this game. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm always ready to take the basketball team down a peg. <laughs> Why you say that? Okay. Because, you know. I don't, do you? Yeah, they think we walk around like we own the place. Because everyone treats you like you do. Boom! Oh, no, I see, I told you I was bad at this game, now I'm starting to live up to it. <laughs> All right, I don't act like that. It's because you're new. You'll change. Wait, oh, you act yeah. like that, right? I'm not yet, but apparently it's fate. But who am I to argue with fate? Oh, oh come God, on, man. I love doing game. that. Yes. All right, look, uh-uh, serious. <laughs> Big game coming up, boys. First game, right? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> College is a new game. It's a big step, but my dad taught me to respect it. Well, Ellie, hey, we gotta get to practice. Oh, that's because I was winning. You wanted to walk out like that? What's your name? Junior. Hey, um, what if, um, what if we win this next game and me and you do something together? And if you lose? Uh, then we don't. Text me after your game. So when's the wedding? <laughs> you were just scared to say so. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> wow, okay. Is I on? Gotta perform. Let's do it. Oh man. I think that's how he gets his girl's number, but okay. Even he knows how to get a girl's number to their name. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight for our presentation of college basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Texas Tech Red Raiders going up against the Florida Gators. I'm Forrest Hunt, along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we are just as excited as you are to see what this game has in store. Well, one great thing about college basketball, anything can happen. Scouting reports and standings are all well and good, but it's really a surprise every time. Absolutely. I mean, these players are all improving at a rapid rate at this stage of their careers, and because of that, you can never count out an underdog. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Pass to Thompson. Diaz. Junior outside. To the inside. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. You know, the Red Raiders have had just a few drafted players over the years. Not really a hotbed for NBA players historically coming out of that program. But in recent years, that's starting to change. Outside, Mills. Back to Evans. Fires for three, buries it from long range. And guys, the Red Raiders had players taken in the first round in 2018 and in 2019. Zaire oh, Smith and Jarrett Culver were the selections, respectively. They're two of only three total first-round picks from Texas Tech. The program is improving, and you can expect more NBA-level players to come through Lubbock in the future. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Back to Junior. Out to Diaz. to Mercer, now Thompson. Lawson, left side. Junior, he's covered by Evans. Here's Butler. 
Here's Montgomery. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Diaz. Well, you know, the stretch for the Gators in their history is easy to pick. I mean, the school won back-to-back -back titles in 06 and 07. Okay. That was clearly a dominant era for the program. Now here is Evans. Five points in the game. And the shot goes down. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. That's to Diaz. Thompson. Now here's Junior. And here's Lawson. He's guarded by Neely. Lawson shots good. There we go. Talking about those 06 and 07 titles for Florida. Those were the first two championships for the school, guys. Oh the Gators God. had been to the finals before, but hadn't come away with a win. Very rare to see a school win twice in a row like that. Those teams established the school as a basketball powerhouse. Here's Neely. And the three off target. The Gators with the lead. Junior outside. Down low. Lawson shots good. Showing he has the ability to read a defense. Junior, fantastic pass to set up a teammate. Mills with it. Pass to Evans. Rejected by Mercer. They get it back. And the basket by Montgomery. You know, one thing I you can really short. count on is the Gators are going to be tough now. I mean, this program is so consistent at putting together a tough team year to year. Despite being in a tough conference, they'll usually make the tournament and have a solid record. Rejected by ah, Evans. Here's Butler. To the middle. Neely. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming up. It's going to be on Mercer. We are leading right here. We are leading. Here's Montgomery. Butler defended by Diaz. Now Evans. Junior outside. Thompson. And he banks in the layup. That's fine. That's fine. Nice shot against tough defense. Thompson actually gets hit on the way up, but able to maintain that concentration. Evans left side. Terrific assist and nice finish. Solid play all around. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Waters. He's covered by Evans. Diaz outside. Pass to Waters. Junior. Thompson with the ball. Neely covering. Six on the shot clock. Here's Waters. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. You know, the Red Raiders have had a number of outstanding seasons, and yet the highest tournament seed they've gotten has been as a three, which is a little bit surprising. I thought they had perhaps been higher at some point. And Texas Tech is in a tough conference. Hard to amass a pristine record when you go up against top teams. Still, I imagine it's a goal for the school to get a one seed in the near future. So he hits one of two from the stripe. Now the Gators with it. Here's Diaz. Evans with the rebound. The Red Raiders trail. Butler. Mercer with some nice D. Junior outside. Here's Thompson, sinks the 15-footer. And a smart basketball player. Thompson doesn't neglect the mid-range, and he'll take what the defense gives him. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. And here's Thompson. Pass to Lawson. Diaz outside. Junior, he's covered by Evans. 
Jr. with it. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. You know, what I like most about Junior is how he stays confident, composed, and focused. I mean, even when he's going through a tough stretch, for a young player that's just developing, he's got a lot of self-confidence. The Florida Gators have long been a football powerhouse. They were a football school. It wasn't until about 20 years ago that they really became a basketball program, and the basketball program could say the same thing. And now both programs are some of the most respected in the country. The school's large enough to be fanatical about both sports. With the athletic talent in Florida, both programs always have some great athletes coming in. No issues on that one. Good work all around. On offense, here are the Red Raiders. 11-point game. Outside, Neely. Here's Montgomery. Evans outside. Misses the three. A good board there, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way okay. back into this My game. Get to work on the glass. There's the triple. It's good from long range. And that's a killer crossover. The defender got totally shook up by that move. So we conclude the first half. The Gators on top. They're up by eight. And about halfway through, what have you seen from Junior thus far? Well, honestly, a bit of a disappointment. You hear the buzz on this kid, and maybe we're expecting too much. What do you think? Well, it's clear he's capable of playing much better. Still, plenty of game left. We'll see if he's able to get his game back on track. Well, this marks the first contest with the school for Junior. He hasn't been playing organized ball for too long, but he has learned very quickly. Hey, there's no denying it. He's a bit raw, without question, but the coaching staff thinks he'll improve rapidly. The athleticism and the skill, evident and obvious, just a matter of time before he smooths it out. You got to remember now, he only played one year in high school. Evans with the ball. Junior's there. The shot comes out. Mercer with some nice D. Pass to Thompson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. And so it's Texas Tech with it. Down by 12. Back to Mills. Neely with it. All alone. And they pick up two. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. To the paint. It's stolen by Evans. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot and will go to the line. It's going to be on Mercer. And he's got his first free throws of the night right here. He's off on the second. Here's Thompson. And he lays it straight in. And you guys, Junior being named a starter for this team right off the bat. Did that catch you off guard or did you see that coming? Well, there isn't a doubt that Junior will be great eventually. There's an argument to be made that he should have been eased into big minutes, but Coach trusted the impact that Junior has on the floor from the get-go. Pass to Lawson. Thompson outside. Back to Lawson. Fires from the wing. Texas Tech with the rebound. Clearly the defense it's could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Out to the wing from deep. Nixon's shot is off. The Gators with the lead. Mercer outside. Back to Junior. Now here's Mercer inside. Junior. Evans with the rebound. 17-footer on the way. The shot, no good. So Florida will take it the other way. And fouled hard that time, and he'll get two shots at the line. It's his first trip to the line. 
first team back. So. Damn. Here's Mercer. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And a freshman out of California. Guard Red Thompson. Not a major recruit by most listings, but he can play. Another solid young option for this team. The fadeaway. Texas Tech again missing. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. And foul called as he misses and will shoot two free throws. That one on Neely. Always a good idea to go up strong inside. Junior draws contact and gets to the line. And Thompson a bit flighty on the court, or at least that's the scouting report. But which freshman players aren't like that? You know, I've seen something in them, and they might be on to something here. You look at Thompson, they were very excited to add him to the list of incoming freshmen. I think he'll be a big part of what this program does and becomes the next couple of years. Back to Livingston. Pass to Neely. Lock at six. Butler. For Thompson. Texas Tech again missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit oh, advantage yeah. on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And you know, the nice. freshman from Newark, they call him Junior. He was a football player for a few years, but then switched to basketball his senior year in high school. Getting an invite to play with this program seems like a good switch for him. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Thompson outside. Pass to Diaz. Now Fisher. He's guarded by Neely. Now Junior. Fisher right side. And stolen by Neely. Livingston from outside. Florida grabs the miss. And you see the talent that Junior already has. It makes you wonder why he didn't switch from football sooner. And you can't ignore the strength that Junior shows on the court of the game will just come with time but this program sees something in him and feels he could be a blue chip prospect here's junior outside the shot out that time and texas tech will come the other way they've been looking out of sync offensively they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence livingston covered by junior and the foul called on junior so that'll be his second foul of the game. We're in single bonus, so they'll. So it's the Gators winning this one easily. You know, it's pretty impressive, actually staggering, that they were able to win in landslide fashion despite the lackluster performance from Junior. And despite his talent, minutes aren't a given in this game. If he can't produce and teammates can, his minutes could be impacted. Just one game, but he can't make a habit. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Of these kind of disappearing acts. And that'll wrap it up for us. Until next time, good night. Good win, Junior. Now I'm focused on is getting us to the tournament. Hey, that's why we brought you here. You played the game the right way. The guys in this locker room, they really respect that. This team needs a leader right now. All right? Hey, listen to me. This team will go as far as you take us. I'm going to need you to own that, all right? Yes, sir. Good job.
Thanks, Coach. Dip at my maker, hit an axe for a favor. I need the money yeah. and clothes, the flashy cars and the jewels. All these rappers is good, flashing lights and I pose. On the road to give you my soul. Hold on, all the fans screaming names, ain't name the fans. Leave your days, amen. Never been on my level, keep pushing hits, how you in trouble? You my money is flipping, these racks is tripping. Numbers don't lie when my ex is hey, <clears throat> My coach, I would say. Uh, nothing really. He likes what rap. Those numbers up in your draft position gonna be sitting pretty too, right? You know I'm saying you wanna play on a higher level, right? I don't care if it's football, basketball, anything. I don't even care if it's one of the top leagues. We're still talking about all stars from every state, every country for the last 15 years. There is no let up. You gotta be ready for that. Man, what makes you think I'm not ready? Just asking me that question tells me you're not ready. Rule number one, never ask enough. questions. That's better. That's Never start. ask questions. Just that's don't. right, because outperforming just your teammates, that's not going to cut it no more, right? What happens when you feel overwhelmed? Because that's going to happen. What happens when you feel like it's just not clicking? What do we do then? Work when you're on the clock ain't work. Thank you. Okay, so you do listen sometimes. All right, not wasting my time. Look, son. Good to see you, dude. Respect. Thanks, young man. Look, your ceiling is sky high. I believe in you with everything I got, but you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe yep. in your talents. You gotta show commitment if you wanna cash in on this. I am committed. All right, I believe that. I believe that, but I also know there's always more for us to do. Always. Let's go. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, give thumbs up. And yeah. <laughs> looks like we have a date. Looks like we have a date. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.